Do you ever eat when you're not hungry? Now, I'm not talking about those people that are trying to gain weight. I'm talking about those people that are trying to lose weight. Now, one of the rules that I recommend in all my videos and my books is that you don't want to eat unless you're hungry. Okay? And if you're not hungry, don't eat. But some people do still eat when they're not hungry for various reasons. So I want to talk about that because if you're trying to stick to a program and you're eating when you're not hungry, it's going to be really hard to stick to that and see results. So let's talk about three things that relate to this. The first thing and the most important thing is being satisfied. We know that if you're on keto correctly and you're doing intermittent fasting exactly like you should, you are not going to be hungry. You're going to be very satisfied. If you are hungry and craving and you're not satisfied, that means you're just not doing it correctly. You need to keep your carbs lower. You need to fast longer. You need to eat more fat. But the fact that you're eating more fat should be more satisfying and allow you to go longer with your intermittent fasting. The fact that you're in ketosis and you're making ketones, because ketones are a natural appetite suppressant. And this other point right here, when you're in ketosis, you are eating your own fat. So when you're fasting, you are eating, you're just living off your fat. You're not eating a hamburger, you're just eating your own fat. You don't see it, but you are eating. So don't feel like you're starving because your body is eating 24 seven. It's just eating your reserves. Okay, number two, your environment. How well can you resist temptation? That's the question. On a scale from one to 10, 10 being very, very disciplined and able to resist temptation, zero being you will cave at the sight of a donut 20 feet away. Go ahead and write down the number and rate how well you're able to resist things down below in the comment section. I want to see. But there's various smells at restaurants, social pressures from family and so-called friends who basically just pressure you into eating some of the stuff and the visuals of that chocolate brownie, right? When they bring this dessert tray over, it's very difficult to say no. Not to mention the memories of all these delicious foods. So what do you do in this situation? Well, you're going to have to start to avoid those environments. Very important. So don't keep going out to dinner every night. Start making food at home. Start preparing your meals in advance so you have some control over that. And it's also very important to get everyone's agreement in the house not to bring any junk in the house so you're not tempted. And also, you want to have alternative so-called pleasure foods because sometimes you might have the consideration that uh, you shouldn't have to restrict foods. Other people are eating them. They're losing weight. Why do you have to restrict them? Well, all you have to do is make an alternative food that's almost identical, like a keto dessert. And that way you can substitute something so you don't feel like you are restricting it. And then we have these past habits that you had in the past. I don't know, maybe it's snacking at night when you're bored, when you're watching TV, you have to put something in your mouth. Or you have this idea that you cannot waste any food on the plate. So you always have to eat everything in your plate. So you go to a restaurant and they make, bring this huge meal and you have to eat everything, right? Well, you're just going to have to have smaller plates and cook for yourself. I already talked about this. You have this consideration that I shouldn't have to restrict certain foods. Well, those foods have gotten you in trouble, so you do have to restrict them, but you can also have substitute foods as well. And the other thing is that the more that you can't have something that adds pressure and it's going to make you want it more. So anything you can't have, you want more and you get really serious about that. And that's not really good. So you want to actually have a very light attitude about that and not be so maybe fanatical about every little thing and maybe allow yourself to have it every so often, but just make sure that you make up the damage. So that way there's not this so much pressure on you. And what I'm talking about making up the damage is that if you have something that you shouldn't eat, well, then go on a fast, take your apple cider vinegar, take your nutrients, be extra good with your carbohydrates to allow yourself to reset. 
Now, you're probably only gonna do this in the beginning when you start this program because as you start doing it, it gets easier and easier and more enjoyable. You'll start to enjoy the keto uh, foods and also the vegetables. It really won't be a problem down the road. But the first thing you wanna do is isolate what is your bad habit, okay? Change your mind about it. That's what I did. I basically said, that's it, I'm done. I'm not gonna do that anymore. I would go to the grocery store, this was my habit. I would buy celery and all these vegetables and everything. And I would also buy Pringles and Doritos and things like that and pizza. So I'd get home and I wouldn't eat the vegetables. I would have the pizza and Doritos. But in my mind, if I had these other vegetables there, I said, I'll eat healthy when I get older, okay? So I had to change my mind about that. Um, also, you have to use discipline. The thing about using discipline is that every time that you use discipline and you succeed by resisting something, you will strengthen your willpower to the point where it's stronger and stronger because what really creates a low willpower is the continual giving into your temptations. So using discipline will strengthen this thing over time and you will be able to stick to the program and also not eat unless you're hungry. All right, thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.